Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I just got a message from Joey Schlater and they're going to be moving the caboose in today onto the uh, railroad bed that we made a few weeks back and uh, he said that we could come check it out. So I've been back here behind the shop making some new parking space, uh, cleaned a bunch of stuff up and made some room. So uh, I was doing that this morning until he sent me a message, so we're going to go check it out. So I know a lot of you wanted to see the uh, caboose when it got moved in, so uh, I figured this would be a great video. Well, we're in for a treat. We uh, actually beat them to it. They haven't got here yet, and here they come. There's the trucks for the caboose. There's Joey. And here comes Jake with the caboose. So they're going to start unloading the trucks now for the caboose. Just going to roll them off the truck. funny to see a caboose just go out through the grass. <laughs>
So now they are going to pick the caboose up with the jacks. Doing a shake test, make sure it won't fall off. So these jacks are independent, so they can go one side up at a time to keep it level as they go. Now they can roll these wheels out from under. So Ron right there in the shorts is Jake and Joey's dad, and he actually started the uh, rail car moving years ago. He's got a lot of experience doing this. So now they're gonna put a piece of temporary track under here so that they can roll them trucks onto that track set the caboose on it and roll it back and then they'll get it jacked up and they'll get its other set of trucks under it and roll it the rest of the way on. Now that the uh, tracks are in, now they can roll that truck back under. And what's interesting about rail cars is it's just gravity that holds them on top of their trucks. There's a main pin in there, but it's gravity that holds the car down on top of the truck. That's why when you see train derailments, you see the cars laying all over and you see the trucks all over the place. Now they're going to go ahead and raise it up some more. Need these jacks for working on excavators these would be fantastic especially doing swing gears or swing bearings Now they're 
just trying to get that to fall in. It's actually like a ring that's got to go inside of another ring. Okay, so now the trucks are under it. Now all they gotta do is simply back up and roll it onto the rails, and then the other truck can be put under it. Jake is definitely one hell of a truck driver. He's fighting a lot right now trying to turn in that soft sand and back that Jeep around. The, uh, the biggest problem is without any weight on that Jeep, there's not much weight on the tractor. So there's not a lot of tractive effort by the tractor to push the caboose back. So he's doing really good for what he's got to work with. About like trying to turn on a sand ditch bank with a hopper bottom behind a semi. You just don't have much weight to give you that traction to get turned.
So while they make some adjustments, um, I'd like to uh, give these guys a big shout out and a thank you for uh, letting me come video all this. It's been an awesome experience. Thank you, Joey, Jake, and Ron. Really appreciate the uh, invite to come check this out. Um, I was really excited when I got the text that it was coming today because it kind of, for me, it, it finishes the project. You know, I started doing the, the dirt work for it and now I get to see the finished product and I know that the viewers will really enjoy this. So thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate it. off of its road wheels and here comes the truck for this end so now they have to slide that temporary track panel over just a little bit so that it will get the truck centered underneath of the caboose so they use a plumb bob down from the main pin of the caboose to uh, figure out where that track panel needs to be. So when they drop that on, it'll be nice and lined up. So I wanna make a note on that truck, you'll see like that pulley right there on that truck. That pulley actually turns, or turned a generator inside of the caboose that made power while it was going down the track. So I thought that was kinda cool. Oh, and thank you, Josh, also for uh, showing us how this is done. So now it's almost time to put that truck under there. Now this one's just going to get shoved in under there with the telehandler. Now it's going to be moved into its final resting place. It's on its own wheels now.
So I guess I should show you how they're gonna secure it so it can't roll. Josh is gonna weld something behind the wheels to keep it from rolling. Let's go on that side. there's its final resting place so thank you for watching i greatly appreciate it thank you to the schlater boys for having us come out and check this awesome project out it's been a great experience i'm gonna see if they'll let me help them with uh moving some rail cars sometime so uh anyways thank you for watching greatly appreciate it see you all in the next one